etc. There's a lot of terms for it. At any rate, what we want to do is find these type of files. So, how do we find it? Well, we need to scrape certain terms that's going to find it. Uh, we're probably going to start with some, let's go to Webalizer traffic. So this is, and uh, I'm seeing, I hope, actually, let's, uh, let's move in a little bit here so you can see this a little clearer. And uh, pop that in there. I put a quotes generated by Webalizer as one of my search terms. Um, again, if any of this is not clear, hit me up on the forums and I'll post it a little more. I have a couple of other ones for Google. Usage statistics and a summary period. Notice I'm losing April. Why? Why am I going to put November of 2008 or 2007? I don't know if they're using the file still. So if they use the last month, the chance of them using it this month is pretty good. However, if I put the current month, there's a very good chance it's not indexed by Google or Yahoo yet. So I usually go the month before. And again, you could, by, by the way, do multiple months if you like. Uh, let's also look for uh, PL, of course, is a Perl script of AW Stats and this title of statistics. Very good traffic for AW Stats. We've now moved into some AW Stats terms. Some other popular uh, queries I like, uh, created by AW Stats. Uh, we may want to look at four. Um, what else are we going to look for? Oh, of course, the usage. Here we go. Let's uh, 9 and then 05 or 04 for April. Okay, very good file. Um, good old wussage, as some of us like to call it. <laughs> Uh, and I don't know, trace watch, right? Now, some people will tell you, hey, also, you know, put your keyword in, that's fine. Um, so you could actually take any of these and then also put an, an, uh, and a keyword in your uh, query, right? Um, in my case, I'm just going to look for bulk, and that's it. Proxy settings, at this point, being that I'm just scraping, I myself don't use proxies because I'm not doing this every single day. I'm not worried about my IP here getting banned. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick search, and we're not even going to go to detail. The scrape genius is going to go ahead between Google. Uh, and by the way, at the same time, I could take in all those terms I had from Google. A nice little trick if you want a lot of traffic is go to Google, go to Yahoo, go to Live. You see that? Now, I'm not even checking the PR. I'm just going for both links and hit search then also. You're going to get a lot more traffic. Uh, so you let that run. I'm not going to let this run for hours and hours and hours because you guys will fall asleep or probably shoot me. Just make sure you're seeing that okay. It's going. We're getting some results popping up here. At 300 so far. Look at that go. Again, great, great utility. I'm very, very happy with this utility. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Script Genius Black Hot Animation Dude or Dudette. After it's running for a while, you're going to stop. We now have our URLs. Well, what do we do next? Well, obviously, we're going to put them into PR Storm, right? Wrong answer. Let's create a fight called Results and save it in Script Genius. But let me show we have an issue. Again, it's not an issue, it's just what we have to do next. It's another step. We've now gotten our ULs, and you may have left this run for 20 minutes. Um, you could put a lot more traffic. You're getting the idea here. Um, you could may have gotten 5,000 or 10,000 sites in minutes. All these utilities, again, are free thanks to some very, very good members. Um, I wish I could contribute to some of these utilities, but I don't know how to code. Get a script genius. The next thing we need to do is clean this. Now, there's a lot of packages you could use um, for, cl uh, for clean. I, of course, have my own particular favorite package, um, which in here... I use a deck that came with one of the PR Storm downloads, I believe, on there. Uh, something says URL washer. Look at this. This is great. Amazing, amazing utility. We're going to take that file we got from Scrape Genius called results. And notice what happened. We have all this junk afterwards. That's not good. Now, some people are going to say, oh, listen, well, we need to get to this page. No. You need to get to the main site. So wash by the full URL, by the root domain hit wash. Look at that. We now have 470 links ready to go. And again, if you had run this for hours, uh, you would have had more or less or whatever you need. Uh, hopefully that's making sense. Uh, and hopefully you're getting excited here. Now what do we do? Well, we got to save this file, right? Now I'm going to save this file under my PR Storm subdirectory called URLs. Saving that. Yes. Okay, so at this point, I now got my proxies for PR Storm ready to go, and I got my URs ready to go, we're ready to run PR Storm. So we're going to close the PR. This, we're going to close our cleaning utility. Yes, please. And again, thank you very much um, for all those um, great, great authors who have uh, donated that. And we're going to load PR Storm for the first time. Well, actually, not the first time for me, but maybe first time for many of you. Let me close this so it's a little more clear. Stand by. It just uh, again one of the excitements here of using uh, doing these things live, and uh, I'm not a pro at all. But anyways, here we have PR Storm up and running. I've gone ahead and I'm going to do this domain, which I've added earlier. Now you do is you put in your domain and click Add. Uh, 
Let's, let's actually see from the beginning here. Okay, the UR list is preloaded from that list that we did earlier. Actually, you know what, Hemi, uh, actually, I apologize, let me, again, this is my first time doing this, so zoom in and hopefully make this a little more clear. Okay, so we have our URLs here. We have the user agents. I'm going to leave these as a default. I've heard a lot of people have uh, edited them. I myself have also done that. Um, I've actually only sometimes put in maybe 50 of them. You can look at current user agents. If you're not sure, simply look at one of these websites that you went to earlier if you're, and look for something that says user agents and look at all these ones that you could copy and paste. So if you want some current ones only, just copy these. You can actually see. It's funny, by the way, one day if you do some searches, how many people have actually put, and I'm not joking by the way, PR Storm as a user agent. Do not do that. What you're trying to do is mimic different browsers and or robots that are out there, okay? So yes, I have seen it, I'm sure it does also. So I got your user agents, I'm leaving alone. Proxies, been loaded from the file. The URL harvester, this part in PR Storm, I personally have never made it to work. Uh, which is how can we use the other products instead, which much better results. I'm not saying it doesn't work, um, but I don't think it, it's going to work well. So in my opinion, don't use that. And again, I'm putting my opinions. You guys may hate me, so whatever. Settings. We only need one hit per URL. I see a lot of people trying to put in sometimes 50 hits or 10,000 hits. Well, what are you trying to accomplish? Let's think about this. We're here. We wanted to know I came and visited. Now, true, if you're on the top 30 list, I may have to get 887. Okay, but you're only looking at one page of user statistics. What we haven't gone into, as you see here, look at this, refers, there's a refers page in the top 30. We can also, a lot of the times we have things, uh, pages in here that may have all refers. So don't right away think that you have to do a thousand. And in fact, your first time, you don't want to do that because you're going to be in the top 30 of all these sites and it might actually be too much traffic. Yes, you might actually get too many links. So I recommend the first time you do one time, Leave everything else in the default. These are default settings of 42 and 2. Later on, if you're trying to develop more and more links and, you're just, and you have a uh, campaign you want to do that you need, let's say, 100,000 links, then you can go ahead and you, know, you may put up this up to you know, 2,500. Okay? Um, you know, a lot of times uh, 1,200 will get you a lot of very good links. It's up to you. Um, again, I, I recommend just one. Okay? Number of threads, if you're really going to go balls to the wall, you can do up to 1,000 usually on a standard machine. We're going to leave it at 40. I'm going to use the proxies, and again, I don't need to. If I'm only going to ping it one time, the proxies are not needed. Trust me when I say this. The proxies are not needed. You simply, but if we're going to do thousands, you would use them. This is how come we went through the whole proxy setup. Or if you're a little paranoid, you don't want your area at school, and you don't want anybody to know what you're doing. You're at the office like I am right now while I'm doing this training. Um, you may want to use it. So let's go ahead and use it, and we're going to hit start. And immediately we see this is going ahead and pinging away. Um, 900 sites at one ping each, going very, very quickly. Uh, and again, because we're going through proxies, if they're good or bad, we're not sure. Hopefully, we've used our products before to actually clean them out. And again, if you're unfamiliar on how to use uh, the Charon product, please, you know, Google it or go to the form that you found this uh, video on, and, uh, you know, hopefully they'll be able to find you. Uh, thanks, Harold. <laughs> uh, but anyways, I hope that uh, gives you the answers. And basically, once this is finished, it will complete. Now, you're not going to get a report. You're not going to see results today. But tomorrow, you're going to want to actually see how many links you got, correct? How do we do that? Well... I'm going to stop that right now. What we're doing, let me open this back up so you can see here. And again, I hope you're not falling asleep on me. Okay, that's one of the problems when you use the control thing here on this thing. It's a uh, do, do, do. There we go. One of the products we could do is this. If you just type link for Google, a colon, and your website name, especially if it's a uh, brand new website, you're probably going to have zero results. Um, it's actually very common uh, to have zero results, especially on a brand new forum. For example, if you notice this naked cookie, you're going to say, oh, look at that. Your Google banned you. Well, people who say that are morons and don't know any better uh, because that's actually not true. If you were really banned from Google, how would you know? Well, you would put in the command site, a colon in your website name, and look at that. I got pages. According to this, I've got about 566. Not too bad, uh, considering I just did this a few days ago. I got the pages there, and are we actually getting, actually, you can see a lot of other things I'm doing, good old uh, auto blocks to the rescue. But how do we know uh, if we're actually getting the links we care about from those stats? Well, let's do this. Let's say AW stats at the end of the URL. So now it's going to look at AW stats.